He's part of a dwindling group. 99-year-old former Japanese Air Force pilot Kanama Harada, a veteran of Pearl Harbor, the Battle of Midway, and many other major theaters of conflict, recalls the horrors of World War II. I don't know how many people I may have killed. People who, when fleeing, looked like they were begging me to stop, calling on me to help. Shot down in 1942, he survived and went on to become a flying instructor for the rest of the war. Then, in the 1990s, he decided to use his experiences to promote peace. I would say that we have a duty to tell future generations about the hardship we endured so that history is not repeated. Another survivor of Japan's disastrous war is Tohara Reiki. A trainee pilot in 1944, he never flew a combat mission. If he had, it's likely he would not have returned, as like many others, he was being trained as a kamikaze. Never would I have thought, never would I have imagined that one day we would use our airplanes as a bomb against the enemy. Today, debate is raging in Japan around a proposed amendment to the country's pacifist constitution. Seventy years on from the end of the Pacific War, these memories from another era carry added resonance.